a time of the day to be cycling. This is high noon kind of sun. Eh. This is like heat stroke kind of sun. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Celebrity Doing Things and today we are with Selena Tan cycling at East Coast Park, panting, very tired, <laughs> hot. That's the thing we're doing, panting. So Selena, tell us why, why, why cycling? We're panting here. Yes. During the lockdown period, it was one of the things that we could do, go out and explore the park, so like that. So where do you usually cycle? I normally go the railway corridor. That's really nice. And then there's a nice park connector near me. So I like that too. You can see otters everywhere along the way. Oh, so you don't do it like in the afternoon like we are doing now? Lah. Oh, certainly not in this heat. This is like too hot a time in the day to be cycling. This is high noon kind of sun. Eh. This is like heat stroke kind of sun. Today, we are talking about your new movie. Shotgun wedding. I, it reminds me, you know, this is like by the sea. Oh, uh, we yeah. shot the movie on a very beautiful island, uh, the Dominican Republic. Wow. And it was wonderful because uh, it's just so, so much beauty everywhere. And the weather was great. It was not as humid. And it was just really fun to be on a, like an adventure. So Shotgun Wedding, it stars J-Lo, Josh Dumas, Lenny uh, Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz, yes. And, and Jennifer Coolidge. Yes. She's so, wonderful. So what's your role in the movie? I play this Filipina uh, lady who, who runs the resort with her husband uh, in the Philippines. So very beautiful resort. Josh and J-Lo come to get married in. And then while they're at my resort, uh, things fall apart. <laughs> I guess I'm not a very good resort owner. So I, I help to plan the wedding. Uh, they all come over, but then things get out of hand because some so-called terrorists uh, come down and take everybody hostage. Oh. And it becomes a real fun action-packed thing. A lot of comedy, a lot of action, and a lot of romance. So we have comedy, action, romance. Which Quite one? cool, right? Are you in all three? Let me think about it. I think I'm in the non-action part because when the action happens, I go and hide. <laughs> I think the, the, the thing is that... <laughs> what thing? <laughs> I just fall off you. I love you. Are you ready for no, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Once you are ready, we are ready. Did you have to audition for the role? Yes, I did actually. I get an um, audition notice. I do a first take first and I just send it over. I think a few months down the road, the manager says, you know, you're still being considered for it. And uh, I was really quite pleasantly surprised. Then we did one more call with the director and the casting director. I remember this, it was a Zoom call and because of the time difference, I had to do it like, I think it was 3 a.m. in the morning oh. or something. At that time, you know, you don't think like anything's really going to happen, but you're in it just for the thrill of the process anyway, right? So I just did it, it was fun. And then the director said, oh, why don't you sing a song? And I was like, sing a song? Oh no, how to prepare? I didn't prepare anything. I sang something for him and then I went to sleep because it was, you know, it was like wee hours of the morning already when I finished. When I woke up, manager called and said, Oh, I think you got it. And then I was like, you got to be kidding me, right? It was like a, a dream come true holiday where you got to make a movie as well. <laughs> and I got to meet all these brilliant, brilliant actors who have been working in the industry for a long time, like Sonia Braga, Jennifer Coolidge, Darcy Carden, who was in The Good Place and now in a league of their own. There were 11 of us. 11 of us we all stayed in one very beautiful villa by the the sea and on the sundays that we have off there was a like a little movie room in this villa so we would take turns to like watch the movies that they have been in like we watched a uh, kiss of the spider woman and then sonia braga was there herself so somebody would do a question and answer with her it was like attending a, a bonus film class how was it Filming with like J-Lo, Josh, Jennifer. Filming a movie is filming a movie. Uh. I mean, it's intense work. It's long hours. You, you, you're up, like sometimes you were up all night, you know, because they, they have to capture certain scenes in, with certain uh, conditions and stuff like that. Everybody comes in, they all know exactly what they're about to do, how they're going to, you know, what they're going to bring to the scene. So that's great to observe them doing their work. So it was like a masterclass for me. My first scene, the first day when I, 
we started shooting, uh, it was my shot. It was kind of like this. I was driving the buggy and then Josh is here. Josh had just fallen into the water and he's changing. The whole place is lit very nicely. I'm driving, I'm like, you know, nervous because this is the first scene that I'm doing and trying to remember my lines and accent and everything. I remember one moment I looked up and I saw Josh just standing there glowing like a movie star and I was like, okay, this is a Hollywood movie. <laughs> So looking back at this career, what are your thoughts? I don't look back as much as I should, I think. So the story about, you know, like following your heart and, and going for what you feel passionate about, I think that's something that is quite uh, eternal, is, is, is quite a constant in anybody's life. Even though you are in this field, you end up doing something and you are stuck in it for a while and you feel like, oh, you know, you're sort of like in a rut. You have to find that impetus, that, that little bit to bring you somewhere else. At the end of the day, it's still about Every day you, you get up and you still take baby steps towards something until you find this big epiphany where you go like, okay, you know, this is the actual direction I want to go to is somewhere else. And then I think that's where all the beautiful stories are. You know, like, am I doing what makes me alive? You know, what, what, what being alive is all about. So you seem to have reached that stage quite a while back. Mm. already. So it, what's the next dream for you? So a lot of people think that, oh, you know, I made that jump and I did like at, uh, at an early earlier age than now. And they think like, oh, now you're living your dream. But actually, what I'm saying is that in the everyday work of this particular dream that you're living in, um, there are still long stretches of time when you are not really living in, that, in the passion at that moment. You know, it's like you're, you, you end up in a rut anyway. It's like, I got up today and I'm still I'm stuck. I haven't got that, that next project, that next thing to propel me forward. So even though I am in the entertainment world, there are days when I'm like doing admin stuff and I have to do admin stuff for way too long. And then I'll go, okay, this has to stop. And you know, because you, 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 you just lull yourself into this like state of comfort and complacency and then you're just in this comfortable state for a while and then you go, oh no, okay, no, let's go. Let's try a few more things. It's not like tomorrow I'm going to like back up and become an architect or, or whatever. I think from now here on in, it's like little the little changes that makes life a little bit more exciting, a little bit more worth living. So now, uh, the movie is coming out. What mm. are you working on also? My mainstay is with Dream Academy, our production house, and what we produce is local uh, comedy content. That's what I'm working on in terms of my production work. Selena, thank you so much for joining us today on this hot afternoon, paddling, <laughs> you know, like panting. But quite windy and, also, quite windy. Yeah. Not really Dominican Republic, but can lah, you know. Not bad, you just have to erase the tankers. <laughs> yeah, and then maybe just need a, a, a Josh uh, hunky guy <laughs> somewhere here. Can find lah, I think that can one. Find. So, Shotgun Wedding will be out in late December. Uh, you'll be on Prime Video and also released on local cinema. So, catch that. See you. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I feel like I'm on holiday, then we are paying guys <laughs> to cycle us around. For... Like sitting gondola, kind of, right? <laughs>